I want to show you guys a really quick tip to help you protect all your dog beds at home. We just recently got this dog bed in the mail and I want to show you guys something to do to protect it from drool, um, if your dog actually makes an accident on it, or if they get muddy and they get wet and they jump on the bed. What can happen a lot of times is this portion of the bed gets gross too and then this is really difficult to wash. What I'm going to tell you guys to do is get yourself a trash bag and some duct tape. And for bigger beds, you might need a contractor bag, like one of those ones that you put leaves in. Um, but for this size bed, you can use just a regular black trash bag. What you're gonna do is take this white padding and put it inside the trash bag. Now that your bed's inside this black trash bag, you're going to seal this opening with some duct tape. Now you're going to put this cover back on to the bed. That way if the dog makes an accident or gets this wet, it goes straight to here. This can be wiped off and then this can go into the wash. Now your bed is nicely protected and when it gets dirty, all you got to wash is the outside cover and wipe off the inside. We are here at DePaul ready to play some more nose work with Clyde and Abby. Let's go. She knows which one. She's so good. She's, she's curious, but she's like, that doesn't smell right. But that one does smell yes. right. Okay. All right, we've had such a busy day today, but we have just a little bit of light left, and so we are here at the Cedar Park Bark Park to have some fun with our dogs. Let's go. <laughs> so when it comes to dog parks, you have to be careful. Not all dog parks are created equal, and that includes the dogs and the environment. So this is nice with a water feature out here because it gives the dogs something to do other than chase each other around. But also, you gotta make sure that your dog is comfortable in this type of environment. You know, just like some people aren't all social butterflies, there are some dogs that aren't all social butterflies too. When it comes to our culture, it seems like we've made this generalization that all dogs love other dogs, and that's just not true. So make sure if you take your dog to the dog park that you only bring your dog if they love other dogs, and they love playing with other dogs, and that they behave appropriately. And if you ever come to a dog park I would first go ahead and look inside and make sure the dogs in that dog park are actually looking like they're playing nice. If they don't look, look like they're playing nice, I wouldn't go in at all. So make sure when you come up to a dog park, check the park at first. And then when you go in, if you feel uncomfortable at all, if you see there's any dogs that just aren't um, behaving very well, then I would leave. It's really hard at a public dog park to ask people to leave. And in the future videos, I'm going to show you some really cool private dog parks here in Austin, Texas that I've really enjoyed and had a lot of fun at.
I just don't know why the dog park's so empty tonight. I mean, there couldn't be any reason. Oh my goodness, there's a storm coming. We gotta go. <laughs> Doggy Dojo, that ends another great day and it was fun with you guys. So thanks for joining us here. And let's talk about dog social health. And we just went to a dog park and that was great and all, but I gotta say that's not the only way to socialize your dog in life. And what I mean by that is you really need to focus on more than other dogs being the social core in your dog's life. And actually, most importantly, what do you guys think is the most important social aspect in your dog's life? And go and leave a comment down below. I'm going to answer that in a future video. And um, also, tell me down below too, like I said before, what are the, some of the best things that you can do to give your dog good social health? And leave that a comment down below. I'd love to hear about that. Leave a like as well if you heard any tips that you really enjoyed. Please share any of this that you enjoy as well. And thanks for joining here on the Doggy Dojo. And as always, have fun with your dogs and we'll see you all next time. Bye.